You know, Helen summed this up uh, really nicely in that, well, let me say two things. The first thing is, um, when you want somebody, somebody to do a wrap-up at the end of a two-day conference, you give it to the person who has to catch the flight back to Cape Town. So I'm going to go out and cap, you know, capture my two buckets of rainwater um, and then climb on the plane and go back, uh, back to Cape Town. Um, and, and so this is going to be quick. Uh, but what we have in the works, and the organizing committee put their heads together and thought some of the outputs that can come from that, along with the the proceedings that Anne is very kindly putting together is that, as, as Helen says, we will come to each one of the speakers because, honestly, uh, it's hard to fault what we heard in the last 48 hours. I mean, it's been extraordinary that people really dug deep and thought carefully and have really um, contributed awesome stuff. We're going to ask you to distill that to like 300 words, send it to us, and um, we, we have a, a hotline to a journal that has a really good impact factor, um, and so I'm really sure that we can get these proceedings into a journal um, and, and make sure that our peers and, and the broader global community can read what we have really cared about in the last 48 hours. In addition, um, you know, I think it was pointed out by Lucy and others as Sorry, Jürgen, and, and our government officials, it's got to be one page for government officials, and it's got to be, you know, very simple kind of, because that's all they have time to read. So we will also come up with a, um, a plan of action, um, sort of, you know, what we believe needs to happen in the next 12 months. We will write that down. When we come back again to this workshop in a year's time, the idea will be to look at that very critically and say, what have we achieved and what do we still need to do? So, so th those are the two main proceedings we see coming out of this. Um, and so do look out. We'll be coming back to you to say, have we captured this right? Is this what you really think? Uh, we hoped we'd have it together by now. Um, and we set out ambitiously this morning to see if we could, but, it, but actually it needs a bit of time and a little bit of uh, reflection just to be sure we capture those 10 points very carefully. So watch out for that in your inboxes. What I'm going to do now, though, is just remind a few things that we heard that we think as you dr you know drive home, fly home, whatever, that you'll be thinking about as you go. And we heard awesome things. Uh, the, the two of us put our heads together here and, and agreed, you know, thanks to everyone, everyone from the floor, from the podium, from in your groups, at the lunchtime tables, we've really heard some very important things. Next slide. Can I do it? Yeah. Um, but the kind of elevator things we would like you to take home is we heard that language matters. And so it's very important. We don't actually think about challenges or this is a tricky group or goodness, no one wants to work with adolescents because they're challenging. We actually, you know, we all believe this. We need the world to engage with this. This, this group is exciting, dynamic awesome, incredible, we learn so much, Mo, couldn't agree with you more, it's exciting work and this is why we want all our adult colleagues and all our pediatric colleagues to join us here in the middle um, because we really think they're, they're an exciting group to, to, to be a part of. Uh, it's, we, we were reminded uh, demographically this is a big part of the world, a big part of the continent and it's getting bigger, particularly on this continent. So, you know, this is not the time to actually shrink away. This is the time to engage. Uh, but we need to track that and intervene the, on trends, uh, the needs. So in other words, the EPI needs to continue. And I think it's very exciting. A few years, short years ago, five years ago, we were having these discussions about the disaggregation disaggregation of data. And it's fantastic that we've actually been able to achieve that, that we are now talking about smaller groups and this whole 15 or under 49, as it used to be at some point, you know, we've really moved away from that, which I think is really important. But that surveillance is really key. We, I think you heard again in this last panel, so important, it has to be multi-sectoral, multi-faceted. The, the adolescent is so much more than just whether they get pregnant or not. It's, they are so much more than whether they have a virus on board or not. They are these complete human beings. They're becoming, they are changing, they are becoming those, those um, very important dividends that we want to invest in uh, for down the road that we have to be thinking about. And so that brings us to this triple dividend thought, Ulrika, again to remind us 
that, you know, this is how we sell the concept because ministries of finance need to come to the table. And so we have to say words like dividend and, and this notion that if we invest now, they're healthy today, they will be healthy soon, and they will be healthy into their adulthood, which really it makes good financial sense. Um, to, to grasp this as an opportunity uh, to see that actually we can move beyond the HIV narrative and into the SDG global health, better, healthier, wealth, you know, even wealthier, because it, we know that uh, sick populations uh, are more likely uh, to struggle economically. So if we can move into that thinking so that, um, you know, again, people engage because they see the bang for the buck. Um, so those opportunities to create that language around the SDGs. Uh, we heard again and again about tailored. These words are very carefully chosen. Tailored, integrated, combinational kinds of approaches to these, uh, to, to solving uh, many of the problems um, and creating enabling environments. Um, again, I'm lucky. I'm in a country where I think laws uh, favor many good things. Um, but we, you know, there, there, there's, there's work to be done throughout the continent. Um, and, and again, we can share best practices. We dropped our testing uh, consent to 12. We have not seen negative outfall from that. So we need to share that with other governments to the north of us. And then there certainly are learnings we can gain from them. As PrEP rolls out in Kenya, very important that we are carefully watching what happens in Kenya so that we can adopt some of the lessons there. So again, learning uh, within our, our continent. Uh, this concept, it's in the middle, but th there's no order to this. This is really important. It's an easy, glib thing to say nothing about us without us. Uh, Kingston, thank you for saying it again. Thank you to all the young people. Yes, you do need to be here in majority. We hear you. We're going to keep working at this. We're going to make sure, ultimately, you need to run these workshops, and we'll come along and swan in and hear all the great things you're going to tell us. Um, that's where we want to go uh, in this regard. So we want you not only to be there, you know, giving us a bit of advice, but actually administering these programs because you know better than anyone else how to do this. Um, and then we aren't on the ground floor. I heard that. I think that's very true. We're not starting from ground zero here. We we have a lot already. We have a whole lot of of um, of of good stuff in the bag. It's about growing on that, building on that. So there are things, the last panel I thought was brilliant in summing that up. There are things we know have to be done. They, that, you know, AYFS with peer navigators, that's, we don't have, we don't need more evidence. We just got to go out there and do it um, and make sure that it's done in such a way that doesn't just tick boxes, but actually uh, creates, um, and makes people feel like this is real and working. We need framework and directives for implementations. That, that's to Helen's point. The, how did we move towards the eradication of mother to child? We gave people a simple you know, five-point plan. There was a global plan for the eradication of mother to child prevention. We need, and I'd like to call it a global plan for save our youth, or global plan for better health in young people. Um, you know, and whatever, I mean, I, I put, put that down glibly. I'm sure there's a better way of saying it, but, but the whole th idea being that we get this point plan and we go out and we get it done. There are obviously um, some uh, good programs that show pro pro promise. Let's bring in that evidence as quickly as possible, even if it's gray evidence, it might not make grade level, but let's bring it in so that we can then also uh, get that uh, prioritized into policy and scaled up. And then, of course, the space for innovation, I think so key, so important. And I think you, I had lots of ideas bubbling around in my head about, oh, gosh, we could do this, we could do that. Let's go home and get them done as soon as possible. Um, and so that's to the point around, let's keep the advocacy for new science going, uh, particularly implementation science. And I know there's some fantastic um, financial opportunities for that. Let's not forget our, our early adolescents, very key group to work on. Not easy, 
because it's got all the consent issues and all the in-school issues. But if we don't do it, we won't do it right. If we don't understand what their needs are, we won't do it right. Um, and then continue to call for good, better data, um, improved treatment and prevention technologies. Now, I'm sure I've, I've kind of left a whole lot off there. That was really, as I say, the kind of elevator stuff I wanted to take away and think a little bit more about. We'll be coming back to you with, with, with much more um, meat to that. And yeah, and uh, Helen and I will really shepherd this along to make sure that those outputs are out there. Um, the last point then really from my side is, um, and from uh, together with Helen, to thank the sponsors, and, that, and we don't mean the blessers here. Um, we, although we were blessed by the opportunity to have this, uh, this workshop, but thanks to uh, Johnson and & Johnson and, and, and others, because I know it isn't, you've been let off work, you've been let off by your organization, you've come here, there, many people have contributed to your ability to be here, so we thank you for that. Um, obviously, to the organizing committee, uh, lots of work has been done behind the scenes to make sure that this is run smoothly, and we thank uh, Virology E as well for this. To the speakers, of course, you were all terrific, uh, and your work is not done. We're coming back to you. Uh, moderators and group facilitators for everything you did. Thanks, Helen, for, for just wisdom all the way. Um, and to all of you, of course, for coming. Really appreciate it. Safe travels as you go. Um, and, you know, we will be in touch as to how this is going to play out. It was an experiment to see, you know, and, and, and as Charles reminded us at lunchtime, 600 people in, without too much effort, thought this was a good idea. So I think indication is that we do need to do this again. Maybe we need to do it twice a year, we're not sure. Um, but we, we'll, we'll be back uh, to you with, with more recommendations. So thanks again to everyone. Over to you.